Hey, bro, what's up, man? I hope all is well. So, first thing first, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to come across as, uh, you know, like I'm trying to tell you what to do, because I definitely look up to you, and I appreciate your knowledge and stuff. And, and uh, But one thing I'm, I, I got to ask, man, why not just go straight into buying commercial real estate now? Why, why put yourself through the stress and the... The, the whole hassle of rebuilding a whole new business. You already got a, a profitable a profitable business, excuse me, with your core sales, and it's all digital. Ain't no overhead for real. Why not just keep that rolling? It's easy. And then go ahead and roll those funds over into commercial real estate now instead of doing the car thing. You know what I mean? Because I think the car thing going to be a lot more work. And it's like, why not just go ahead and keep scaling the digital business and then anything else? you put into commercial real estate because you already qualify for commercial real estate so it ain't like you got to do something actually to get there and why this all right so this is a question i felt this would be a good question um i have been doing online stuff for 12 years and frankly i'm ready for a different kind of challenge um also I am a person that's not afraid of work. Um, it just doesn't deter me because essentially what I have found out over the years is that when I get on these rabbit holes, there's like a pot of gold at the end. So number one, um, honestly, I think online course sales are going to be very challenging in the next five years. Right now, there's a lot of blowback. It's just information. It's too much money. I actually see that happening. So before that happens, what I'm going to do is start another revenue stream. And also with the real estate. This this is a big, big problem for me. Um, for me to get that $10 million apartment complex, I got to put two to $3 million down. And let's just go ahead. And th this is funny. Like uh, I I've, I've run some new numbers for the car business. I can do 250,000 in the car business and be up to $40,000 worth of revenue in mere months, mere months. And to give you perspective with that, the average small business owner only makes $71,000 a year. So in June or July, I fully expect to be doing forty dollars to $50,000 a month from the car rental business. Now, why is that significant? Let me tell you a story. When I first came on the YouTubes with my first digital product, I made $62,000 my first year. And I made $92 my second year, 24 months, 24 months. I will be able to make more money than I made in my first and second year, 24 months selling digital products in this car business in four months. So I'll be able to do in four months what it took me 24 months to do here on YouTube. And let's say, you know, I've got some aggressive goals here. Uh, I want to turn this into a million dollar business within 12 months. Why is that special? Uh, you're on the internet. Everyone's making a million bucks. Everyone's a clubhouse millionaire and all this. The reality is the average entrepreneur who starts his business at age 40 something takes 11 years to make his first million. This is a statistical fact. So if I can start this business and get it up to the point where it's doing a million dollars, like, like the first year is building it, all right? So we're not gonna count that. So the second year, once I get to six figures per month of revenue, and I do that in 24 months, I have made my first million in this business in less than nine years faster than the average entrepreneur. Also, one of the reasons I'm doing this is the challenge. Because, you know, I'm 
halfway retired, right? I'm halfway retired and I am looking for something different. Uh, since I've gotten my teeth into this, going out, looking at properties, and he's right. The car business is going to be a lot of challenges and a lot of hassles. But this is something else that I've researched. Essentially, when I research a dealership, I research the owner, I research the LLC, and I've seen this over and over again. There's a there's a guy who owns the Car Connection. It's a car dealership in Tucker. He's had this dealership for 31 years. He, gradu he graduated from University of Georgia in 1989, and he started the business in 1989. Still going. And I've seen this over and over and over again that people have started a dealership. These dealerships have been there 15, 20 years. And what I feel is the smart guys who came in with some capital and a plan, they, they, they're making money. So I think the car business is a good business. And also in terms of real estate. All right. Let's say I took 250000 and bought me a piece of real estate that I was to do Airbnb. At the most, at the most, $250,000, like I said, was Airbnb it out. Uh, like $250,000 property, I could rent out for $2,000. Let's say $2,000 a month. And the Airbnb, it, I'm going to 3X that. So that's going to be $6,000. Six times 12 is $72,000 a year from that $250,000. I could take that same money, put it in the car business and make $72,000 in two months, six weeks. So this is one of the things, cause you know, th this whole thing started uh, as a proof of concept. Cause I'm constantly saying, start a business, start a business, start a business. And I got a lot of people who's like, you can't do the YouTube, the online course sale business. That's getting to be really hard to get into. So that's going to be a challenging. But essentially, I wanted to do it from the vantage point of me not knowing anything about the car business. So I would be approaching the car business like you would be. I got to learn this business. I got to figure out all this stuff. I got to, uh, I got, I got a whole bunch of things that I need to do. There's a whole bunch of things that I need to, to understand. Like, you know, I came in with one thesis, get a dealership, buy some cars. I see that ain't going to work. <laughs> that ain't going to work. I would literally have to put in a million into this business. But once again, I'm, you know, I find that a lot of my latent talents have awakened because I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Before we just start spending all this money, how can we take X amount of money and make it grow and flip it versus just pouring a bunch of money? Because let's say, let's say I took a million and put in the car business, got me a dealership, uh, bought me a bunch of cars. The more money you put into a business, the longer it takes to get your money back. So let's say I put 250 in this business and I keep flipping it in the business, keep flipping it, keep flipping it. You know, uh, I make 40,000 one month, I make 50,000 the second month, I make 60,000 the third month. And in a year, I'm doing six figures a month in revenue. Um, I'd rather do that in a void because essentially money hides flaws, money hides blind spots, money creates uh, different things. So essentially, uh, I'm going to cap it at 250 because uh, essentially I see a lot of profitability in this because uh, essentially, let, let's just say I just invested the 150 and got me 20 cars, right? And let's say that after expenses, that was 18,000 bucks a month. So in a year, that's 200K. Just at that level, it's 200K. That's really good money. That is really good money. So let's see what else, the next question. I'm just curious about the move. Maybe I can learn something from it, but 
I, you know what I mean? Because, like, you're the one who keep me in line and remind me, hey, don't, you know, jump into these other things. Yes, there's, there's other things that can make money out there. And, yeah, we know, we both know that a business will give you a better return than any stock, any real estate, any all of that, right? But now, once you get to that point where you are, it's like you don't have to start another business because you already got a profitable business. Now you're at a point where all you got to do is invest it in real estate. And you can do some stocks too that not I mean that pay you well if you don't if you want to be lazy about it, but you don't have to start a whole new business because you already got a profitable business. You can just keep scaling that. You know what I mean? And and go from there. Maybe do some Delphi for you products. Uh but I don't know, man. I'm just curious about the move with the car dealership because because uh, I know sometimes we'll do things just to kind of show people, look, I'm trying to show you a business is the way to go, and then you want to document and show it to them. But sometimes, hey, man, if you don't got to. <laughs> Uh, that was the original premise. But once again, once I jumped into this rabbit hole, once I saw the numbers, once I worked out my projections, because I, I worked out two sets of projections. I worked out some, everything goes wrong. Okay. Everything goes wrong. Uh, let's say on uh, the 20 cars, I get 20 cars and it goes wrong and it's horrible. That's still $7,000 a month. That's if things go wrong. The cars are not rented out half the month. That's $7,000 a month. That is um, $84,000 a year. That's if everything goes wrong. That's if things go wrong. So that's the worst case scenario. Um, you know, finding out situations and stuff. And yeah, this is to show people because that was the original premise was to show people that my thesis was correct. But once I started to dig in the rabbit hole and I started to do research and I started to see a whole of these guys who own these dealerships for decades, they're owning these dealerships for decades. And I'm, I'm seeing this over and over and over again. And I, I am seeing also with uh, high, higher car. I'm going to use higher car. I'm not going to use Turo. Um, and there's higher car, get around. And eventually what I'm probably going to do, because I'm going to work on the cars initially, but I'm going to start renting trucks. You know, um, there's a category of folks out there that needs trucks at bad credit. Like you get a truck, you can go ahead and make you some money, right? So I'm going to start renting trucks. Um, also, I like a challenge and this seems like a worthy challenge because honestly, I'm be, I'm, I'm be, I'm be on, I'm a little bored. I'm a little bored. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm so excited to be dating this girl. Cause she, 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 she's an interesting creature. She has a lot of things going on and I cherish our time together. And that, that's something else that kind of woke me up. And um, I, I need a new challenge. And also, I've been working from home for the last 12 years. I kind of want to get out the house. I know, I know everyone is like trying to get back to the house, trying to buy a big house. I want to kind of get out to the house. I kind of want to do some more stuff. So as I go on this um, pathway... And the more that I learn, the more exciting I get because I could take $240,000 and within 12 months, turn that into just flipping more returns, turn that into six figures a month. I mean, once again, this is my thesis because it's like real estate is a good play. Real estate is a great place to park your money. But once again, real estate, you need a lot of money to because I'm still going to do this apartment complex. That's kind of like the retirement play. Uh, go ahead and get me, a, you know, because essentially if this works out the way that I want it to. Um, I will be able to put more money down for the apartment complex. So instead of going into a $10 million complex and putting 2.5, I put 
five million down, which is sure that I would get the financing. And literally half the revenue will be mine because, you know, and that, that's something else, too. When you talk about buying an apartment complex, you go to Google. Essentially, I got to meet people. I got to talk to people. I got to talk to real estate agents. I got to let people know what I'm looking for. But before I even get into all that, I got to be in position to get the apartment complex. So I'll have the YouTube business. I have the online course business. I have the car rental business and I have the car sales business. So I would have four revenue streams, four revenue streams. And that's one of the reasons I'm doing it because right now I have the YouTube business, online course business, consulting. I, I don't really do too much consulting. So really, I only have two revenue streams and I really want to have more. I want to have more. So that's another reason I'm doing this. And essentially, the money's just stacking up in my personal checking account. It's just that I might as well put that money to work because, you know, I'm at a point where I have such good cash flow that I don't have to save a lot of money. I mean, my cash flow per month is more than what most people make per month, per year. So essentially, uh, I'm probably just going to invest the money that I'm paying myself into this car business. Um, and I'm probably going to pause my, um, what I'm paying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Cause I got to really sit down and map it out and I got to do phase one. I got to write out a detailed plan for phase one, but essentially this is a really good challenge and I just see money. I just see money like in the worst case scenario, I got 20, 25 cars, 7,500 bucks per month, almost passive income. Oh, you know, I would have to meet people and do stuff and communicate with folks, but it's not like I'm working at McDonald's for 40 hours a week. You know, it ain't, ain't nothing like that at all. So worst case scenario um, I'm taking my money that I got in the bank and my money starts making 7,500 bucks a, a month. That's a win, man. That's a win. Let's see what else he got to say. And I'm just going to say this one last thing. I won't hold you long, but cause I just, I, I was about to start another cleaning company basically, but instead of like running it like a cleaning company, I was going to basically run it like a, I, my job is simply to get customers. Cause that's everybody's biggest struggle outside of keeping uh, workers, but, and so I was going to get the contracts cause I know I can get them like, you know what I mean? Like it's nothing. And then just sub it out to all of these different cleaning companies that I'm helping people start. And I did it. I started it real quick and I sold it like the first pack of like 10 grand. I got his 10 grand, got him a contract within like a day. And then the moment after I did it, I realized, oh, man, I don't feel like dealing with this shit. All these different customers, then the subcontractors I'm going to have and you know, I mean, just all of the, the headache that come with starting over when I already have a profitable, scalable business. Most of it's digital, most of it's passive. Why not just scale that? So I immediately gave the guys money back, stopped it, and stuck to my plan again. So I'm just wondering if, you know what I mean? Hopefully you're not doing what I was about to do, which was trying to prove that it could be done. Well, essentially, like I said, um, I need to challenge. I need to get out the house because uh, essentially... I'm in a different space because, you know, I'm not the normal 54 year old. The normal 54 year old is trying to be chilling with the grandkids and they, they're trying to crank it down. You know, I'm still shifting. I'm still, I'm still putting it in high gear, man. I'm still putting it in high gear. So, and also looking at this from a five year, um, uh, plan um i go ahead and build it correctly the first year it's gonna nate it's gonna have my hands all over it because i gotta build it right but once i hire and train people and this is gonna be hard i gotta hire trained and entrust people to spend money at the car auctions and this is what the bigger dealerships do they've got people in those roles to go buy the cars to trade the cars because the owner of the dealership ain't never there. He just owns it. 
and you know i gotta create so it'll probably take me two years to get that set up the way that i want it set up but if i go ahead and create an additional six figures a month of revenue hello and also the perks of the car business um I want more cars, but I don't want to pay full boat retail for them. So my next house is probably going to have a four car garage because I only currently have a two car garage. And then I'm going to probably have me some more toys. I mean, the other day I almost ordered another convertible 911 because there's a certain color combination that I want. I almost ordered that bad boy, but I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause it was going to be like the one I had spec that was going to be like two thirty. And I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just wait a minute. Take that 230000 put it to work, create another revenue stream, and then get that car. Because uh, I'm pretty much going to get it. It's going to be like a Miami blue with a bright red interior, and it's going to be a convertible. So let's say it takes me two years to position myself. That's 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 cool. That's cool. Because I got this and I got the other Porsche. And like I said, I, I'm keeping that Porsche because I've already tuned it. I've done some stuff to it. And I've tricked it out. I got some rims coming for it. So, you know, I know that I'm going to have hassles with the business. I know this, right? And that's not a problem for me because 12 years, man, I haven't had to deal with customer, you know, on a, on, a, on a smaller level, I've had customer service issues with the online course business, but you know, nothing like what's going to happen with the car business. I'm going to have people who are going to wreck cars. I'm going to have people who are going to do all kinds of stuff. I'm going to have people. So from a hassle standpoint, it will be nothing like my online business. It will be nothing like it. But also from a business standpoint, because, you know, I'm seeing a whole bunch of people who who want to do Turo, who want to do uh, rent their cars out. No one I can't find out. I'm, I know I'm not the only one who thought of this. But if I go ahead and buy a car and rent it for a year and get that car to elk out a profit on top of what I paid for it, like say I pay $10,000 for a car, it makes $14,000 the year that it's rented out. So year, year that it's rented out. So that's a $4,000 return. Then I take that same car, hey, give me $2,000. Now I've made $6,000 pay me 350 400 per month let's say 400 a month um i made $15,000 on my $10,000 in 36 months and do that at scale so when i do that i'll have um 30 cars so i'm going to make like 30 times 15,000. That's um, 400. Yeah, it's $450,000 in 36 months. $450,000 in 36 months. Uh, I would not do that with an Airbnb. I could spend... Um, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars on an Airbnb property, and it's going to make, according to booking, let's say two hundred. So we're talking about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars additional money on top of the same spend. Same two hundred fifty thousand. Same two fifty. Just more money. Just more money because essentially each car will be like a piece of real estate. It just will be a short term real estate play. 
you get this car, you give me a down payment, you make payments at the end of 24 months. Here's your title. Have a nice life. You're on your way. Take that money and buy more because essentially once I wound this up the way I want to wind, wind it up, um, let me just go ahead and give you some math. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and go to the future. Let's go to the future. Let's say I have 350 cars out on payments times 400. That's $140,000 a month. And that can happen in three years. Then I have um, plus 100,000 rental. It's 240. And then I sell uh, 30 cars a month, $2,000 down, that's 60, that's 300K a month. I can do that in three years. 300K a month. And then once I get into the business and once I'm able to stretch my legs and get some experience, I have a feeling I can make these numbers even tighter. I can make these numbers way tighter. And also um, cater to the people who need vehicles because uh, I was essentially think it's like working people cars, you know. Uh, but I'm going to still call it Mac Daddy Autos because working people cars, that 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 that's kind of who I'm going to be aiming my business toward, people who need a car to get to work. But um, yeah, so hopefully this answers your question because I'm going to put this on my Instagram page and i'm gonna put it on youtube so because I, I know some people like you know he good why is he doing all this it's exciting it's exciting um i'm in the graveyard right now <clears throat> and i'm here for a reason there are a lot of people who are here who didn't get to do what they wanted to do in life and i don't plan on ending up here without doing what i want to do in life so that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.